The next code component we will be learning is the text component. As the name suggests, it is a component for displaying text. It supports nesting, styling, and touch handling. Depending on the target platform, React Native will translate this component to either a UI text view for iOS, a text view for Android, or a paragraph tag for the web. Let's return to VS Code and understand more. To start, let's write some code within the outer view component. I'm going to delete the two nested views and instead add the text, hello world. When we save the file, we see an error. This error occurs because in React Native, all text nodes must be wrapped inside a text component. Directly placing text under a view is not allowed. This is a common error you will run into when starting with React Native. To fix this error, we need to import the text component from React Native and wrap the Hello World text with it. Once we make this change and save the file, we can now see the text being displayed in the simulator and the emulator. Now the position is a little awkward, so let's add some padding for now. On the outer view container, padding 60. Save the file, and this is much better we're able to clearly see the Hello World text. Not perfect, but better. As I mentioned in the previous video, there is much more to learn about styling and layout with these components. We will cover the topics in detail in the upcoming sections. Next, let's explore nesting text components. For example, suppose we want to display the word hello in white color. To achieve this, we can wrap the hello text with another pair of text component tags. On this inner text component, we can add a style prop, which is an object, and set the color property to a value of white. We are specifying that the word hello should appear in white color. If we take a look at the two devices, we can observe that hello is in white while world remains in black. So to summarize what we've learned in this video, the text component is essential for displaying text in React Native. Remember that every text node within a view must be wrapped with a text component. Additionally, nesting of text components is allowed. Alright, if you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.